Yeah, here, catch it, please. An emergency has been reported in the building. While this is being verified, please leave the building and report to the designated assembly area for your group. Yay, here is system test four, finally. Yay, I finally got a simplex T-bar. Yep, it's a T-bar. And it's awesome. I was like so happy about it when I got it today. I got a true alert. Now it's... Now this true alert has a switch to select if you want it to be smart sync or not. I have the switch set to no smart sync. It's 75 candela. You can kind of see the sticker in there. And it's pretty loud, but I put tape on the horn. So, and here's the panel now. Now, this panel here, it's homemade. I made it yesterday. And it's got four coding options, and I'll demonstrate all four in this video. So, it's currently set on code three, so here it goes. I have it wired for audible silence and then reset. Now to select a coding option, you can just go through the menus. So you'll put it on March time. Okay, now. Now, I'm not going to do continuous, but, oh, all right. <laughs> Here's Pulse. Now, this Pulse is like what a Silent Night 5204 has. Yep. And then, and then finally, oops. got continuous and the panel does have a test button it's right here hold it down just like that now reset it put it back on code 3 so I can film the other parts of the system there now that's it for that part now let me grab my flat screwdriver. Now, in the living room, here in the living room, got this one. Oh, Dad's watching TV. <laughs> got the Edwards 270 SPO, which is also new. So, you'll hear the true alert down in my room. And you'll kind of hear the integrity downstairs. So, here it goes. Love that sound. Let's go shut that off. Now, there's one more section. This, this section is in the basement. Hold on. I remember coming down here and I had that homemade station here. To... But anyway, here's the basement portion. I moved the integrity downstairs. Still got that pull station over there. Way over there. Um, see, I still got that one. I plan to put the 8700D there. And I moved the 278B downstairs. Here goes. Go reset. And there it goes. That's it. Finally, the smoke detector. And that 
that's it then. I guess that's about it for the system. Now, the next system, the next part of the system that will be added when spring comes because it's too cold to dig into the ground, I'm going to be putting a pull station and a horn strobe in the, actually just a horn, because I don't have any strobes that work in freezing temperatures in the garage so that the garage can be alerted or the house can be alerted from the garage and I'm going to be putting the Faraday T handle out there unless I get another pull station between the thaw and now okay but anyway it's about it for the video then and so yeah and a little background about that pull station before I do the background I'm going to disable the horns, push this button, and the little light comes on. Horns are disabled. Now, about the pull station here. This pull station was actually an addressable pull station. As you can see the hole where the addressable module was. Now, there were some tabs. These tabs were sticking straight out, but I bent them in so I, can, so I could mount a terminal strip inside. As you can see, it was forty ninety nine nine thousand one. Now it's simply twenty ninety nine ninety seven fifty four. Either way, it's still a really good pull station. <laughs> so I guess now that's it for the video. Alright, now that's it for the video. I'm gonna shut off the panel. There. Okay. Be sure to write and comment this video, and write and comment on my new panel that I built homemade and it's awesome okay and if you got questions about the panel let me know alright alright I guess that's it for the video okay goodbye